Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Boy, it is a Thursday morning. Really glad you're here with us. Here we go. Gilbert is talking about a very, very, very chilly start to the morning here. He's on your TV right now. And I have to say, it is very cold. It really is very cold out there. It's a trash morning in my neighborhood and I had to add something to my trash and there was a layer of ice and uh, frost on there this morning. So you know it's cold. Um, all right, let's talk about what we have going on today. First of all, um, we do have a live interview coming up this morning at six o'clock. Just to let you know, if you're one of those people who really enjoys getting in on the Manchester road race on Thanksgiving morning, you are encouraged not to go to Manchester and run that route on Thanksgiving morning. They have, they're doing it virtually this year and it starts today, but they really want you to do this before the day. So it actually ends before Thanksgiving um, because they really don't want people going out there and running the road race um, and having too many people out there. Um, that goes against what the town is wanting. So we actually have uh, somebody from the race joining us in our six o'clock hour. So you can hear about the race this year. And um, if you want to participate, what you have to do, there's actually an app for it this year. And it's it's very it's very cool, actually. I have the app, and they've been notifying me, and I'm planning to run it. So um, I'm planning to run it well before Thanksgiving. Um, burn off those calories before the meal, right? <laughs> All right, and uh, today is also National Monopoly Day. I thought I'd start off with the fun stuff today. Today's National Monopoly Day, which was always a really fun game to play in my family. We still do every once in a while whenever we have game day. Day. Um, so the question I put out on Twitter this morning was if you were to start playing at 8 a.m. when would you finish the game because it's the longest game ever it goes on for hours and hours and hours it may never end and also what piece would you be I would be the hat I like to be the hat um, all right so you chew on that for a little while and let me know your thoughts on Monopoly Day and what piece you'd be and how long the game would last uh, yes I am running the race I saw somebody just ask me that Ron you know I like a, a good road race I can't wait until we're in person again I really can't it's gonna be um, so nice to finally get together with the community and do that but I think for right now we just need to listen to organizers and adhere to the rules and stay safe as much as we can um, all right so here's some of our top stories this morning so uh, Samaya is actually live this morning with um, the COVID numbers in Connecticut but also uh, Mayor Justin Elliker in New Haven is asking the governor to roll back restrictions even tighter um, make restrictions in Connecticut even more tight when it comes to restaurants and businesses. Um, he really wants to take a look at churches and restaurants in the area and see um, you know how safe they really are and he's really encouraging the governor to roll the state back further we're currently in phase 2.1 if you're following along um, so that would bring us back even farther if the governor listens to mayor Elliker. so uh, the other question I put out there this morning is what do you think about that do you think we need to be looking at tighter restrictions as we obviously are in this second wave of the virus and as we move into the colder months uh what do you what do you think about that is that something we should do obviously we're weighing the economy here and safety which is really difficult um obviously we want everyone safe and well and the health of everyone is the first priority um but also you know we're watching these businesses already struggling and what happens if we roll back those restrictions further so i'm really curious what you think um what your preference would be if if you were governor what would you do <laughs> so uh samaya is uh talking about that this morning um we also have kent in new haven who's talking about a change in learning for students with special needs they had originally um, carved out uh space and time for uh, kids with disabilities to be able to learn in person in New Haven. Um, as you know, New Haven has been remote and they are staying remote. Um, so he's talking this morning about what that means now for kids with special needs. Um, as you know, these cases go up and the district considers whether it's safe for the, you know, students and the teachers of those special needs students to be there in classes uh, learning still. So he's covering that for us this morning. 
Um, another member of Governor Lamont's security uh, team this time has tested positive for coronavirus. We have that. You know, the governor is actually self-isolating right now after uh, another member of his senior staff tested positive, Max Reese, his communications director. Um, well, we're also learning that his a member of his security team has also tested positive this morning. Uh, so that is in the news. Also, um, just a little bit of a spot news. Hampton police really need help locating a driver um, who hit seven vehicles on Dixwell Avenue. There was also an eight-month-old in the car. The eight-month-old is okay, um, but police still want your help if you can tracking down the driver. So if you want to head to WTNH.com or our News 8 app, we have the information there. Um, Oh, it looks like we're in commercial break already. Wow. Okay, and um, we're also covering, you know, students heading back from college, um, getting ready to go home for the Thanksgiving break. And uh, Sacred Heart is has um, exit testing happening right now. That's coronavirus testing to keep college students from bringing home any virus to their family when they go home for the holidays. So that, that's kind of interesting that they're doing that. Um, something good. NORAD is going to be tracking Santa this year. That's good news. Um, the other good news I was excited to see this morning that um, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving and Christmas is going to be on TV now. Uh, yes, I just broke the news to Gil. <laughs> yes, it's... No, they reversed it because there were so many people who were upset about it. So now it is going to be on TV. You can read about that on WTNH.com or News 8 app. We also have it on our newscast. I'm going so, on right now. Yes, or you can watch Good Morning Connecticut, Gil. We're going to have it in our newscast, too. <laughs> All right, everyone, so on your TV it, and, and join us on TV. Uh, hope to see you, and have a great day, everyone. Bye, Tomorrow's Charlie Friday. Brown.